Damn be race. Hello and welcome to Let's Play Richard and Alice. I am Gecko Climber and yeah, maybe the guys who know me, you might think, um, what the heck's that guy doing now? Because actually I'm um, I'm a German and yes, I've decided to do um, an English Let's Play for very simple reasons. The reason is that this game here is very much um, based on storytelling, so we will have a lot of dialogues to read. And I'm gonna do this um, for you since there is no, um, no talky version of this game. And I've decided, yeah, um, I had several choices. The one choice was to do this in German, to give summaries all the time, or to translate it right away once I see. Um, what the, what the people here are saying, but I simply decided that this will give me too much a headache. So um, I yeah, I'll come up with something completely new for you, and I hope you're gonna enjoy it. And I hope we're gonna um, have a lot of fun here. And I haven't clicked on this play button so far because then we're gonna go to the intro screen. And the intro here will take quite some time, but you will, um, yeah, I hope you're gonna be entertained, you're gonna see how the story develops. I haven't seen very much of the game so far, so I guess I um, stole enough of your time, so let's start here. Here we get a little um, introduction how to, um, yeah, to use the controls, which is simply with a mouse. So let's start. It's snowing. Again? Oh man. What's wrong with that son? The last slot berry melted yet. I'm fed up of the snow. Every time it's the same. It's cold, it's wet and everything comes to a standstill. It just makes me feel miserable, Dad. Rich, listen to me. Remember what I always used to say? Oh, Dad, not now. <laughs> Alright, but you know... Dad, come on! Hmm, what's really the problem, Sam? You used to love the snow. I was a kid back then. I guess I've just grown up. It doesn't feel magical anymore. <laughs> what nonsense. It still feels magical to me and I'm twice your age. Three times that, maybe even four. Ha, <laughs> the cheek. You don't want to grow up too quickly, son. Trust me. One day, a time will come when you have no choice but to grow up. And you miss days like this. The magic, the snow, snowman. Go enjoy it, I say. That. Yep. You can be a right zap sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps. But okay, the snow's great fun. I cannot wait to build a snowman. Happy now? Very. Don't think I can't see that smirk on your face too, mister. Now go on. Give your friends a call. Go out and play. It's snowing. So, it snows again. Snow is falling down. And now... Lewis and Danby and Ashton Grace present... Deep in the rainforest of Honduras lives this fascinating creature. It's a brown throated sloth, the most widespread and common of the three toed sloth in the area. The sloth leaps for an incredible 18 hours per day and is active only in few second bursts. It's not active at all anymore. 
Although they can walk along the ground and even swim, they spend most of their lives in the high branches of trees. They scanning once every eight days or so to defecate in the soil. That's all they ever show out here, reruns of ancient nature documentaries. It's a very different world on the outside now. Oh well, we're not here to be entertained. Adult animals are solitary, except when rising young, grazing young. They do not deal well with company. Males have been observed to fight one another using their fore claws. Huh? Was that someone in the cell opposite? It's been empty for, well, as long as I've been here. Hello? Yes? Hello? Huh. Richard and Alice. Hi there! It's been a while since I've seen another face. How are you? I mean, not great I assume, since you've just... I'm Richard anyway. Nice to meet you. Uh, hello? Hi. I said I'm Richard. I heard what you said. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I mean, I thought I'd say hello. I know I wanted some company when I first got here, but... Do you want to be left alone? No, sorry. It's okay. Well, uh, like I say, I'm Richard. And you are? Alice. Alice. Pleased to meet you, Alice. Um... Quite a conversationalist, huh? Sorry, it's been a long time since I've spoken to anyone. Really. I'll let you get settled anywhere. No, honestly, it's fine. Sorry, I guess I'm just a bit flustered. That's understandable. So, what did you want to talk about? I'm not sure. What's the protocol for meeting new people in prison? I'm not used to there being anyone in that cell. The ceiling had collapsed. They only got around to fixing it recently. Should we get to know each other? Okay, now we get our first decision in the intro scene. We've now nearly spent half of the part so far. And uh, we can talk about Richard, we can talk about Alice, so... Um, I guess we'll start with Richard and see what happened. I don't know if it has any effect on the outcome of the game. So let's just uh, try it. So... Do you want to know about me? Well? Sure, whatever. Well, I'm Richard, as you know, and... Uh, oh gosh, what do you want to know? Whatever. Oh my god, what a conversation here. Right, where to start? Where to start? Well, I was in the military. Actually, that's why I'm here. I broke some rules, shall we say. I mean, don't get me wrong, I stand by what I did. Those men were petrified. They were heading for certain death. I couldn't bring myself to be... Well, anyway... You've been here a while then? Organized warfare is a thing of the past. Yeah, yeah, you could say that. All the violence that the, the weather brought with it. More needless wars. These days, it's just chaos or so I hear. I just don't believe it needed to happen. Sure, no one dealt with the, 
with the weather well. I understand that. And I understand that death were in inevitable, but so much fighting. I don't know. So what are you in for? Murder. Oh my god, she's in for murder. Who the heck did she murder? And um, yeah, it seems we committed some crimes in war. And yeah, let's see how it what uh, comes next. I want to know who, who she actually killed. Um, are you uh, serious? Yeah. Well, it's what they say. And did you do it? Oh, we're gonna hear, the, hear her out. It's, that's gonna be interesting. If I told you yes, would you be scared of me? I... I'm not. Relax, there's two sets of bars between us. Put it this way, I've learned some things recently. Oh? Yeah, about moral rel relativity, I suppose you'd call it. How do you mean? Well, since the snow started, things have changed, right? Definitely. There's no denying that. They didn't predict it soon enough. No one was able to bring it under control. It took over, dominated our lives. It changed people, but only because people were forced to adapt. So what are you saying? <sighs> what I'm saying is, I used to think killing was wrong under all circumstances, but now? Now I'm not sure what I think anymore. I think being a parent has settled my views on that. Um... Sorry, sorry. I just... Uh, yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, sorry. Go on. So it looks like it's been snowing for quite a long time and the world has, um, yeah, has been drowned in snow or something like this. I don't know exactly what the guys see, what happened out there. Maybe we're gonna find out sometime. So we're gonna continue the conversation now. Well, that was it recently. I didn't know I'd do anything to protect my daughter. Have you got kids? Little boy, Barney. That's a nice name. I bet you miss him. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Getting used to being away from your family is the hardest part. I keep a photo of mine by my bed. Stare at it every night until I fall asleep. Can I see? Sure, uh, I'll find a way of getting it across to you. Be with me. Okay, now we're able to move around, actually. Finally! Okay, we made it through the intro sequence. And I um, already found out a little bit what we can do here. But um, we will just take a little look on what we got here. We got a sofa. My lovely green sofa. It's actually not too uncomfortable. I had far worse when I was long younger. Okay, so I already found a family photograph, which is actually right here. And we got a book here, and we got a computer, we got a wardrobe, we got a bed, the um, cabinet, and the toothbrush cap. With my, yep. And we even got a toilet and a shower. Okay, not too much for the beginning. So let's first have a look at the family photograph, which um, Alice actually would like to see. That's a photo of my family, taken about four years ago. So, how long are you in actually, Richard? Things were bad then, but no one expected it to get to this stage. Frankly, I didn't expect to be standing here in four years time either. 
So he's in for something like four years. Um, Richard, you're standing in my way. Now get a photograph. Mike, Mike George's family. I take this. So now we get a photograph in the, our inventory. Where yeah, was going? To, yeah, okay. When they told me I was going to prison, this photo was the one thing I knew I had to bring. Fortunately, they let you keep stuff like this. Well, I guess it's a bit better way for them. So now we got here a spare sheet and a spare duet cover. So let's have a look at it. I really shouldn't store my spare bedding under there. You'll get dusty. Okay, so let's take the sheet. And the duvet cover. And that's it. So, okay, now we get our book here. It's a post-apocalyptic novel about a father and son set in a future world where every man is fending for himself. It's funny how art sometimes predicts the future. Yeah? You can, you can say that again. If I have a look at some stuff that happens right today, it's really funny how art sometimes predicts the future. Can we take the book? I don't feel like reading right now. Maybe later. Okay, so we'll keep the book in mind and have a look at the computer. It's a computer. All the cells have one. Also, you can't do much on them. Okay, can we do something on it? Ah, I'm locked out. I need my login stick. Oh, heck. Where did I put it? No, okay, we're gonna find out about this. So we get a wardrobe. A wardrobe. It's full of clothes. Both clean and dirty. Which reminds me, actually, I really should check the pockets of some of those old trousers before washing a day. Knowing me, I'll definitely have left something in there. Okay, so let's um, check. Maybe we can find the login stick for the computer. I don't know that. That's actually quite exactly how far I've played so far. Let's see. Clean clothes, dirty clothes. I think I checked these trouser pockets actually in case something unwanted goes through the wash. And, well, what do you know? It's my computer login stick. Oh. Okay, surprise, surprise. So let's have a look at the, um, at the cabinet. It's a bathroom cabinet. There's just a toothbrush in there. Okay, can we take the uh, cup for my toothbrush? Can we take this? Okay, he doesn't need to brush his teeth. Any. Very, very nice. Okay, the besser. Yep. Can we wash our hands? Oh! Okay, he can wash his hands. The shower. It's a shower. The worst kind. It only gives about 15 seconds of water until you press the button again. At least it works. Well, better like this than it just gives cold or just hot water. Can we? I've already had a shower today. Maybe tomorrow. Okay, if you say so. Yeah, we got a toilet. It's... The toilet, yes, sure. Okay, he just flushes it. Very nice. Okay, so um, next is the television. It's a television. They give us big flat screen TVs and pipe through dreadful old reruns. Yep. That's what we found just a moment before. So let's have a look what's... Nah, there's nothing good on today. I know more about various extinct species than I will ever lead to. Tomorrow's Friday, I think that's when they change things up a bit. I'll watch some telly tomorrow instead. Yeah, I think if you watch the same documentaries all over again, it is not that much fun. So, um, yeah, we got the environmental control unit. That's the Corridor's ECU, Environmental Control Unit. Every now and then a guard comes and adjusts it. They don't care what we think, generally speaking. Submit a ticket on your computer if you're too, if you're too hot or too cold, they say. It doesn't really make any difference in practice. 
Still, it's good to have it there. We'd be freezing to death without it. Okay, so we got the, um, the unit, can we? There's no way I'm reaching that from here. Good. Okay, now there's just the other cell and Alice. So let's have a look at the other cell. It's the barred door to the cell opposite. For the first time, as far as I can remember, there's someone inside. And we got Alice. I have a new neighbor. She's called Alice. Okay, um, I'm now thinking, should we first have a look on the computer or should we talk to Alice? Alice or the computer? I guess we try the login stick on the computer and see what we can do here. Now then, I'll just slot this in here and we're in. Ha! Let's see, a few notifications here. Let's have a look. Yep. I guess I clicked that guy. Ah, okay. Ooh, okay, we got a notice, a lamb test next Tuesday. We got important ECU safety and security regulations. Super snow busting instrument sale. Mm -hmm. And we got notice change to evening meal time. Submit a ticket and we could be done. But we will check on what's going on here in the next episode. Because we are done also for this one here. So, see you in the next part of Richard and Alice. So, bye-bye!